four rat decks. So, pretty good. And he's gonna end his turn. I assume. Uh, oh, he's gonna prompt me for spellbinding the circle now, that's right. Uh, let me see if we can get exactly zero here, real quick. So let me minimize, and let's see, exactly zero. Uh, we would need like 200. So, exactly zero. Nah, I don't think we can get exactly zero for the bonus, though. So. That sucks, yes. but... Mm. This might not work today. Mm. <laughs> This whole bottle on Yu-Gi-Oh! Z in T. Man, Dragon Ball GT gets a lot of hate. I have to say, my favorite season ever. Not the manga. Okay, I'm kind of lying. The Frieza saga, hard to beat that, right? That's a, that's pretty nostalgic. A lot of what people see. But let's say I didn't see it, see the Frieza saga at all. The Saiyan saga. Dragon Ball GT would be my favorite show of all time. No joke. Probably just the intro alone. Probably just the intro alone, man. Including the, you know, African African American vibes in anime, mmm, mmm, good. Just like the soup, a little more ferocious though. Preview warm up video. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get into there. Yes. The sun is now complete. You win, the Dark Magician! tonight. <laughs> yeah, right. Who am I kid? <laughs> dude, dude, that's that's gonna be like the best joke of this whole this whole thing, man. <laughs> uh, so so last time last time we did quite a few things. Uh good cards we got, man eater bug, a couple fake traps. The most important thing is now the B deck, the B, uh, blue, B for blue, and I always love the color of this, uh, this, and the font of this B right here. I mean, look at that B, look at that name, look at that name, blue eyes, white, a dragon. Uh, the B deck is now set at 839 deck 
cost, and that is very good. Uh, but in other news, guys, we have a reincarnation. So, um, with the reincarnation, ah, uh, man, decisions, decisions. Okay, let me sort this by debt cost. So, I could go with low debt cost. I've been going with that a lot lately. <coughs> Excuse me, I just drank some Dr. Pepper, so the burps. I uh, could go with Zarigon. Um, ah, man, you know, I'm really thinking I want to go with Zarigon. Because there are some really low-level deck cost cards that I really, really want. And a lot of them are really good. Um, uh, there's always a toad in check. Mm, a toad in check, you'll get your day in court. But not today. Um, now, if you get around 26 or 27... That's actually good because that can often reincarnate into a field spell card. And I do want the field card for C is named Umi. Uh, fun fact, Umi means ocean in J uh, Japanese. So, And they didn't translate that card. You know what I mean? A lot of times they'll translate to English. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, the final card I'm considering is Rose of Dunn. Uh, 40, uh, yeah, cards around 20, 30... 40, the solid number card, the even numbers, um, there's some really good cards around all of those numbers, really, 50, 60, you know, um, spells and traps, uh, spells and traps is what I honestly hope for every reincarnation, <sighs> let's just try rows and see what happens, guys, okay, here goes, and if I fail, I will reset. <laughs> Sorry, oh man, dude, that was the best reincarnation of my life. So we got Firewing Pegasus, good card, beast. Uh, we have this card in Nightmare Troubadour. Fun fact, I just recently recorded an episode of Nightmare Troubadour. Uh, hopefully you guys will see it soon, but uh, yeah. Uh, there's that, and we got uh, Shield and Sword. Um, good card, swaps the respective attack and defense values of all monsters, all monsters on the field. Now this card's good for several reasons. Number one, if you think about how the field works, this card lets you see which of your opponent's cards, it, just playing it, just playing it, are spells and traps. What do you, what I mean by that? Well, if you really, 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 and I mean really pay attention to when this card's activated and you look just at your opponent's side you'll notice the cards that are unaffected are spells and traps so you know to kind of watch out for those cards good card in general sometimes this card can help you <clears throat> turn the tide uh yeah great card uh and most monster cards have more defense than attack anyway like Aquamador, so a lot of cards that can combo with this. Uh, probably the best is like Millennium Shield or Labyrinth Wall. So, but uh, Labyrinth Wall is not a monster in this game. Oops, spoiler. But uh, uh, Succubus Knight, not bad. Uh, I mainly use it for female-based fusions. Uh, not a bad card, honestly. And Firewing Pegasus, as you guys know, I love this card in <laughs> Nightmare Troubadour, and we're gonna add it to one of these decks right now. So. Let me get the music going, and I'm just going to tinker with the decks right now. Alright.
gonna switch deck leaders in the A deck. Uh, because we leveled up the Furious Sea King, it now applies for the ranking challenge. Um, and that'll give us a uh, third eight Maiden of the Aqua actually in the deck, which I prefer. So, uh, yeah. Gonna switch the A block to Maiden of the Aqua. So, yeah. And uh, M. M for Maiden. M for Magnificently Beautiful. B E A beautiful. Let's see. And Hunter Spider. Um Hunter Spider, honestly not bad really. Um do I have something around 30? Turtle Tiger? Uh, be honest, Turtle Tiger's kinda basic, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a good swap, Josh. That's a good swap. It really is, bro. Let's see. Hmm. Any other basic cards we can kinda get out of here? Hmm. Can Mysterious Puppeteer fuse with some stuff? I'm sure it can. Warriors fuse with quite a few things. And there's some basic cards in here like, eh, Sea Cayman. I mean, yeah, don't really need Sea Cayman. Uh, you know, it's, uh, nice to see your animation, bro, but go ahead. We don't need ya. Uh, to Criminos over Night Lizard any day of the week. Uh, take out the other Night Lizard. Uh, let's get some variety going. Let's put this in there. Let's, I mean, dude, with its own effect, it has 2430 defense. So, dude, why, why not, right? <laughs> you might need that defense. Um, I put Shield and Sword in the other deck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Hercules Beetle? Yeah, dude. Like, let's get rid of freaking... Uh, yeah, let's get rid of a basic card in here. I mean, Freak, Fiend Kraken? Happy for you, bro, but you might be leading the deck right through. Now, you know what I'm saying? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll... You know what? Flying Penguin? Goodbye. Good riddance. Am I right? Yeah, man. Actually, let's put in Rose over uh, Hercules. Uh, that's probably... Since we keep fighting Weevil over and over, that's probably... By the way, I just had a slight headache, so sorry about the lack of music. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of buzzed right now. Semi-drunk. <clears throat> Drunk stream. Hype. Hype. Dude, the hype is real. Okay. Oh. basically swap decks between duels. B, A, B, A. Uh, we're going to do like a test layout. A, B, 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 A, C. And that'll do. And we're at about 14 minutes. Just with the intro and deck editing alone. About 14 minutes. So, alright guys. Ready? Let the Dr. Pepper hashtag not sponsored stream begin. <laughs> Good to be back. Always good. Always good to be playing some Don. Some. Oh my God! I just almost said Don of Destiny. I mean, um, uh, the duelist, the duelist of the roses. Uh, Sheen no duel monsters. Um, aka Yu-Gi-Oh! Succeeded Memories, which is what this call game is called in Japan. Uh, because Forbidden Memories was the original. And this is the successor to Forbidden Memories. Never really explained that, but... Anyway. Thank <laughs> you. 
time to see the spirit bomb, the plant. <laughs> ritual. I'm kind of upset about that. Yeah, it happens. Today's not my lucky day. So, I gotta ask you a question, buddy. You need to ask yourself a question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do ya, punk? <laughs> uh, let's put in bear trap and fake trap. Uh, <laughs> dude. Oh man, good quotes tonight. Good vibes, good vibes. Um, take out the Zari gun. Uh, for bear trap or fake trap? Uh, do I have a bear trap in the A block? Uh, bear trap. I do not. So yeah, let's put bear trap in the A block. There we go. And let's put fake trap. Uh, let's see. What should we get rid of in this deck? Uh. <sighs> Always a tough call. Um, could put in something really good. Let's see. What to get rid of? Who's not pulling their weight here? Ah, Bioplant. Man, I love Bioplant. Let's see. I got two fiends and no toothbrush. Wow. <laughs> but y'all know I said alligators got all their teeth and no toothbrush. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's take out Bio Plant. Let's take out. Actually, let's take out Tentacle Plant. I know this is a fusion for Rose, but, I mean, how often do I really draw that fusion? That specific fusion? Not very often. So, mm, I've had better. <laughs> Dude, so many quotes going on right now. I've had better? <laughs> He's just like. Yeah, I've had better. <sighs> nah, I changed my mind. Let's put it back. Let's put it back. And then we can add something that's about 25 deck cost. So I can work with that. Uh, Night Lizard. Something with a good effect. I don't really show me a little bit about this. Good effect. Good effect. Good effects. 
Ooh, Aquamador. That would be bad in this deck. The problem is, it's just a little too high. Hmm, but I could take out those fusions I just put in. Oh, I have Grigal in here. Oh, did not know that. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's why. Ah, yeah, so, hmm, let me get the full look at this deck here. So I have Grigal. Ah, I see. So let me go to the fusion set. Got McGurus. Yeah, because McGurus confused with Grigal. Man, I forgot about Griggle. Yeah, Griggle's good. Griggle's good. Um, hmm. Kind of need those for filler. Ooh, I hate to do it, but let's take out a Kyriushin. Yeah, let him. Yeah, we got to get the deck cost in the right. It's got to be just right, you know. Uh, so let's take out Kyriushin and put in... Uh, oh, man, I hate taking out Kyriushin. I really do, but... It's a necessary evil, what can I say? Uh, but let's... Kyrushin, oh man, it's just... Uh, I can't see it go unused, so let's go to Newcomer. And, I mean, we gotta... It's it's just... It's so good, you know, the way it uh, converts the fuel to water that... Um, you know, uh, sorry, I was thinking about deck cost, but yeah, I have to... You know, if I got a chance to include it in a deck, I have to put it. It's just... If I'm not, I'm really just being stupid and wasting my own time. So, all right, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, is that our first look at Furious Sea King as a deck master? I. POS out of here.
feel like seeing the king. That's right. Kill yourself, fool. Kill yourself. Kill yourself, fool. Kill the two spiders. Hunt us for it. Go and track them up the streets. Push it Exactly zero life point bonus. Love it. I love the hymn he plays right now. That hymn's awesome, man. Oh, another easy one. Now that's more experience. Got it. Got it. Got it. And what do we get? Yes. Oh. Woo! Yeah, baby. Yeah. Can you feel that? Huh? Can you feel that? I have exercised the demon. This house is clear. Get it out of here, loser. Let's go, Ace. Loser. Sorry guys, I gotta take a two minute break on that one, cause I gotta calm down. It's like two at night, and I don't want the cops called, cause I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, baby! Yeah! 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 I'm like flexing right now, bro. Whew. Yeah, I gotta take a two minute break, guys. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
I got a feeling woo that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a dueling nightmare. True, that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. Heck yeah, man. We're going to see Dark Magic Attack before I hit in on this video. That's what I'm talking about, Josh. Good job, bro. Good job, man. Good job. Good catch, bro. Good catch, bro. Good catch, bro. Woo! Take all of it. Oski, Oski. Good job, bro. Pick six. Pick six, fool. Pick six, fool. Woo! <laughs> I'm saying all these football quotes. <laughs> like, what the heck, man? It's just a game, man. It's just a game. Deep breath. Calm down. All right. Back to the boring duel. <laughs> that was a stream highlight, though. For sure. No sweet gets to no super Sorry. 
worry, my friend. I'm the bitch. Bite me like a white dragon. Simultaneous my friend, predictable. A bitch can eat shit. Then, a bitch by this whole thing. Good job, bro. You drew out a big This flea, this flea is a blood Let me tell you. Scary thought. <laughs> Dangerous territory, we and now you're paying the price. Go, my great beast. Surround him with all of your pentacles and sink him and send him to Davy Jones' locker. Just so I can get Jack Sparrow. I'm getting Jack Sparrow. Release the threat. <laughs> <laughs> well done, my great beast. Now return to the beast. <laughs> 
you move it back over. Unless it's like just. <laughs> For Goblin Secret Remedy there, and I got it. So awesome. Also got some other good cards for the decks, and I will edit it right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So Dark Magicians in this deck definitely want Goblin Remedy in there. Let's put Hunter Spider in the other deck. Yeah. Let's take out. Let's take out Tiger. Put in. Hmm, Let's take out Honey Kabuto. And now, because we put some lower deck, deck cost cards in, we can put in a actually a really high deck cost card. So let's put in. Ooh, should I put in my second code? You know, it's funny. I'm only allowed two codes for this Let's Play. Uh, yeah, sorry, guys. We're going to take a quick pause break. And I'm actually going to look up the code for Aqua Dragon right now. Because this is the perfect time while my deck cost is at 796. Perfect time. Because I know the exact uh, deck cost of Aqua Dragon. And we've used Aqua Dragon quite a few times, but we don't actually, uh, I actually put the code in for a tutorial episode. I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but, um, cheat code, duelist of the roses. Sorry, I'm just kind of typing on my phone. Of the, uh, I have to spell out when I type, I'm weird. But uh, yeah, anyway, 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 um, looks like JXCB6FU7. Smoke you! Wrong answer. <laughs> anyway, let's give it a whirl, shall we? <laughs> Of explained it before, but yeah, basically, whenever it attacks, changes to, to C. Now, you may ask, well, what if a card has an the same effect, but let's say it says space occupied, blah blah blah, mountain? Uh, basically, from what I figured out, the attacker wins, uh, so the defender's effect would activate first, then the attacker's effect would override it. So, let's say I was being attacked by a machine type that could change the space to wasteland aqua dragon would probably lose that fight 10 times out of 10 if it's the opponent's turn let's say it's like i don't know someone who really really loves machines and is maybe american <laughs> in america <laughs> strategy here. Hey, dweeb, you got a name? My name's... <laughs> Dude, I did the voice wrong. Hey, dweeb, what's your name? Yeah, 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 yeah. My name's Joey freaking Wheeler from Brooklyn. <laughs> Dude, I accidentally pushed start and it skipped my turn. 
That's all good. It's all good. I've done burps. Trust me. <laughs> Seven minute break. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
That's a Halo 2 quote, by the way. <laughs> like when the humans are getting attacked by Flood. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Part of the cards, bitch. I am my turn. <laughs> Now, meet my mightiest creature, my blue eyes ocean dragon. You entered, you ran into the depths of the sea, and now you shall pay the price. Go, sing the Titanic now! The Titanic is no better than the Die, die, you murdered monster. Be sunk to the bottom of the depths of the ocean. Predictable weevil, but now be prepared to be attacked by my second Midas, my second mighty servant. Go, blue eyes baby dragon of the ocean. Surfatize me, Captain. Dude, if I had any superpower, I'd pick the superpower of Rain for Mortal Kombat. No lie. Rain's cool. Rain's awesome. <laughs> You win. B 
Be. Nice. All right. Good, good, good. That's it. That's that's it. Keep firing. We got plenty of torpedoes. <laughs> Loving all these quotes, man. All these references. Not gonna lie, that was a pretty great haul. We got Man Eater Bug, Infinite Dismissal, and Quasar. All good cards right now. Alright. Alright. Big gilts, alright. Can you take on an opponent with equal deck cost, or does it have to be lower? Like, do I need 853, or... Uh, I don't... I don't... I'm not... Oh, what? 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 Oh, okay, so it can be equal to... Okay, cool. Awesome. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Let's do... Ha, 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 ha. 
Heel boy. Heel, heel, heel. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> All right. this fusion or maybe I did in the tutorials but a female plus a plant pretty good fusion 1800 not bad <laughs> Fudo. Ha ha ha, maniacal laugh. <laughs> Monster Transform. <laughs> All right, guys. So, well, well, uh, I'll just read the effect of this card. Nature effect can't move. Transforms into perfectly ultimate great bunghole. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> perfectly ultimate great moth. <laughs> awesome. If this card survives one turn, face up defense position after being flipped. Face up by the controlling player. If destroyed by in battle, this card is revived as Great Moth in own summoning area other than the current location. Very good card. Uh, if this card's in your graveyard, use Monster Reborn on this card. You know, I'm sure you can protect it for one turn. Yeah. Um, but yeah. The entire goal, the entire basis of Weevil's deck is this card. And we got to play it before he did, so... the perfectly ultimate great bunghole. While this card is in face-up defense position, all enemy cards are reduced by 100 points each turn. Good effect. 70 debt cost. Man, this thing does take some work, not gonna lie, but it's powerful. And in forest, it's an Egyptian god card. 4,000, dude. Like, what the heck were they thinking when they added this card to the game? I don't know. But we're going to just see its effect for one turn. Just to show it off. You know what I mean? <laughs> Alrighty. Yo, my most 
powerful creature at the moment. Attack! Well done. Uh, uh, yeah, Dutch talks. Now return to your Pokeball. <laughs> That's what we call a check, a mate. Ah. Missed that negate attack by one. Shame on me. Only got two cards that time. That was a bad draw, honestly, but eh, bear trap, not bad. Not bad at all. All right, looks like we made it to another reincarnation, and I just saved, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just saved, so this time we got pretty good cards out of Rose. So this time we'll reincarnate really low, like Zarigon. Try that. Reincarnate Bladefly. I know I've only won one copy so far, but I can duel Weave What any time, really. So let's just try and see what we get. Uh, wish me luck, guys. Today's been pretty lucky so far, right? <laughs> Already got that Dark Magician. What, what? Dark Magician? Dark Magic Attack. <laughs> Because I'm actually not sure what Mech Mechalian does. Um, but Ukazi, pretty good. 500 points of damage. Sometimes it can win you the game. Uh, we got another negate attack. It's always nice. And I missed it. So now, what does this card do? It's a reptile with an effect. Let's check the details for more. Wait, let's see that. It is a replay. All right, the effect is flips all your spell cards face down when this card is flipped face up. Hmm, interesting effect. Uh, this actually, you might, at first glance, you might think, what's the point, right? Um, well, let me tell you a fact about this game. Let's say your opponent plays something to flip all your cards face up, like, oh, I think in one of the tutorials I had, uh, what's that card called? Piercing light or um, uh, dark piercing light. Yeah. So that flips all your spells, all your traps face up, and your monsters. So what this does, however, is that you can move a trap in this game while it's face down. However, when it's flipped face up, a trap card, you're unable to move it. However, if you use this effect and flip it back face down, you can move it starting your next turn. Pretty awesome. Um, so for that reason, and there are advanced duelists, like for example, the next duelist we're about to fight, he has that card in his deck. So this isn't a bad idea, you know, two or three duels from now. But this is the kind of card I would forget if I don't put it in right now. So I'm going to put it in right now. Like I said, it's, you know, it's pretty weak, 800. Probably confused with stuff as well, but it's one of those, like, I want to put in right now, because if I don't, I'm going to forget about it. But, yeah, 
pretty good card. At first glance, you may just think, ah, this card's useless. What's the point? But yeah, uh, I never really, you know, explained that about traps, just because it's a pretty rare situation. But rare, but annoying nonetheless. So anyway, because sometimes you want to move your trap card to like one specific spot. You know what I mean? One specific spot on the field. And if it's face up, you can't do it. And then if you can't move it, you can't win. So anyway, yeah. Uh, glad I got this card and I was able to explain that. Thanks, uh, Mechaleon. Oh, I get it. It's supposed to be like Chameleon, right? But it's Mechaleon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Chameleon. All right. Nice. math in my head there, but I got what I wanted in the deck. So, all right, wish me luck. We're going to do another five duels here. But, you know, just to make it easier on myself, I'm actually going to take a quick hour nap, and we're going to do five more duels next time. Wish us luck, guys, <clears throat> on the next episode. Of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. Will Flood Mod 14 be able to summon the Dark Magician? Does he have the heart of the cards? And will Maid of the Aqua level up to le the four-star Dragon Ball? Find out next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! NT.